So in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to remove breath sounds from your voiceover recordings using Audacity. Now it's natural to make breath sounds when you speak, but a professional voiceover is not going to have pronounced breath sounds in their audio. So let's take a listen to this voiceover that has breath sounds in it. This tutorial will show you how to remove breath sounds from audio. When you are talking, you naturally are going to breathe, but you don't want to have these breath sounds on your voiceover. Okay, so we heard breath sounds, and when we're looking at the wave, we can actually see that they occur here and here. So there are two different or more different techniques for how to remove it, but I'm gonna give you two simple techniques for how to get the breath sounds out of your voiceovers. The first one is to simply create silence in the area where the breath sound is. So let's take this first one. You'll want to make sure that you press the plus sign up here so that you can expand the area and see exactly where the breath sound occurs and so that we're not gonna cut off any of our normal speech. And let's click play so we make sure that we're in the right section. Okay, so we hear the breath sound right in this area. And then we actually picked up a mouth click over here. So in order to silence it, all we do is click the silence button and it's gonna silence everything in the highlighted section. So now, and I'm just gonna highlight this section so we can make sure that it sounds right after our correction. And I'm gonna click play. From audio, when you were talking, Okay, so now we don't hear any more breath sounds, so that's great. Now let's go back to our second section where we had a breath sound, and that's right here. And again, I'm gonna press the plus sign in order to increase the selection. This one is a little bit more tricky because it's right at the end, which is usually when people take a breath as soon as they finish a statement. And so if we take the approach that we're gonna just try to silence everything out, we may actually may clip off part of the end of the word and we don't wanna do that. So let me highlight this section and allow you to hear. Breathe. Okay, so this is about where we would want to cut it off, but let's do it this way. We're gonna highlight up to this little sound here and I'll play it again. And I think we got most of the breath in there. Now, if we were to, let's listen to this right here. Breathe. Okay, so this is the th sound at the end of the word breathe. That's what this little section here is. So we don't wanna cut that off, but we don't wanna hear the breath after it. So I'm gonna take a look and highlight up to just at the end of that word. And this should highlight our entire section for the breath. Okay, now we, we're gonna use effect, fade out, and then it diminished it, right? So let's press play. Okay, but it didn't diminish it enough. So what I do is I click control fade out, and then I'm gonna repeat that same effect four or five different times, or maybe even more depending on how big the breath is and how much we wanna diminish that sound. The way you do that is to click the control and the R button, so it's saying to repeat the last action. If you're on a Mac, you might use Command R. So Control R, and then look, it's diminishing again. And now we can barely see it, and I'll do it one last time for good measure. So now I don't see anything. Let's see what we hear. Okay, we hear just a small amount. I'm gonna just click Control R three more times. Okay, so it's barely audible. So let's listen to that whole section. To breathe. Okay. And so you hear that it's, it's much more diminished. Now we can go back to the first approach, which is to click the silence, because if you'll notice, you can hear a little bit of a breath, and there's a part where we missed out on the breath sound initially, but we can fix that. You hear that little <gasps> right there? Okay, so we're gonna fix that. All we do is click silence. So now we shouldn't hear anything to breathe. Okay, so that's much better. So let's go back 
pan out to our entire voiceover and let's see if we hear any breath sounds now. This tutorial will show you how to remove breath sounds from audio. When you are talking, you naturally are going to breathe. But you don't want to have these breath sounds on your voiceover. Okay, so that sounds a lot better than when we started. The only other thing that I noticed is that there's too much space in between each of the phrases. So I'm just going to highlight, click delete to cut that amount of space down, highlight and delete. And notice when I'm highlighting and deleting, I don't get too close to the actual waveform for the, um, the words because I don't want to delete that off. Then here at the tail end, I'm just going to click silence, highlight and silence it, and then I'll cut it off to leave only about a quarter of a second or so at the end. So now let's listen again. This tutorial will show you how to remove breath sounds from audio. When you are talking, you naturally are going to breathe, but you don't want to have these breath sounds on your voiceover. Okay, so that's much better. And that's how you remove breath sounds from audio. It's not an exact science, but as you do it more and more, you'll get the feeling for how much is an acceptable amount of breathing that you have. Because if you never have any breaths at all, that can sound a little bit strange too, believe it or not.